So now let's switch gears back to the seafood. We're gonna deal uh, specifically with oysters. So I've got the special glove on, and you know what, if you're at home and you're not a professional chef, it's make sure that. you protect your hand if you're doing some shucking, because you know, these, these knives are a little sharp. bit sharp. They're not that sharp, they're not that but, sharp, but, but they're the sharp force enough. that you push in, it hurts, and I mean, yes. almost every chef's got a scar somewhere before they started using the cloth the way they're supposed to. Right, so okay, so you good. guys are gonna use the cloth, I'm yep. gonna use the gloves. Well, and I mean, you know, the oyster, the professionals sit there and they do them in their hands, but I think the safe way at home, yep. first off, what you're looking for is there's this little, like, you know, it's the um, the groove in between, between the top and the bottom shell. Right. Right. We've already scrubbed these, I'm cleaned them down, one. but then what I do is I put on a little bit of an angle and I take the back of the cloth and I put that over like that. Okay. So now, if I'm doing this and I miss, I'm hitting the cloth and not my hand. Got it. Okay? Yeah. And then what you do is you take the uh, the angle of the blade and you just push it in there and you kind of, it's like prying it open. You're not pushing in, you're twisting. You twist. So okay? you get it's it in there, you yeah. get it's it. It's a pop. It's a pop. And, and by the way, these guys all cheated because they did theirs during the commercial <laughs> break. I'm fishing. I'm fishing. I just see them. I got to shut them, right? I'm the good student. I waited to do this on television. <laughs> But you, yeah. How's that working well, for you? Well, it's yeah. chipping away. <laughs> no, no, some, some, it's working out just fine. Some will do that because some of the shells it. are brittle, right? Right. But the thing is, once you've popped it, then you actually have to, there's a muscle that holds, so you have to release on the top. Yeah. And fold that over. My shell broke this here a little bit. This one's got a better, uh, right? oh man. But then the other thing that most people don't realize is, is this is actually attached. So right. you have to actually scrape underneath as well. Right. So it's, you loosen it's, it. Once again, it's a little bit of work, isn't well, it? Well, you know, you work for good it's things, right? It. But That's the great right. thing with that is you loosen that up. And if you <laughs> actually have friends at your cocktail party that you don't like, yeah. you leave the bottom one attached. Oh, there's nothing because they're, like, they're kind of shaking. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. And it just won't come yes. out of the shop. But no, you just loosen that up like that, and then in it goes. Mm. So I'm on my third one now. Mm. That's impressive. This is going really well. But and I, here you go. Come here, so. Here. Do that for me. The thing is, you gotta be aggressive. Pop, oh, yeah. boom, done. Got it in there. Scrape the you top. You got it. Scrape the bottom. The greatest things with oysters are you can do what we call pop them, which is you do that. Yeah. Put the shell back on. Put them like that. Put them in the fridge. You can do that about an hour before your guests get there. Ooh. So you don't have to sit there and go, oh my gosh, in front of your guests. I you would can like pop that. Them, and, and then all you do is simply top them with some all nice little garnishes. But let's not forget the charcoal grill. You put an oyster in the oh. charcoal grill and it has what, the inside the, the moisture is called the liquor. Yeah. It just poaches its own liquor mm. and puts some Parmesan and some butter. <laughs> That's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay, what what have you put on these so right here? These look amazing. I just put myself, I got some, something on the store, like a little peach chutney goes on there. A little nice. bit of horseradish and garlic. A little bit of tomato bruschetta and what I was yeah. showing was the fact that you know you can make all these fancy little chutneys but I mean there's some great stuff at the store yeah and really what you're doing is just giving a little punch to that oyster you know and it's amazing how a little tomato bruschetta with an oyster Come fresh on. Boom, so much flavor. It goes really a long is. way, huh? Oh, yeah. And this a great is a thing. Good party look how impressive right that here. would look at a cocktail party, yes. right? Yes. You know, you just gotta bring Randy over to shuck them all and you're good. As long as, yeah, I was just gonna say, as long as you guys do the work for me, I am so in. 